glove. Basically, I combined a stun gun with these pretty cool looking athletic gloves. These spikes on the front serve as your electrodes, which run down wires into the stun gun. You have your positive, negative, positive, negative, positive set up like that, so that you need two fingers to be set down on the target for you to electrify it. In the palm, there's a momentary switch panel. There's four of them. And whenever you flex your hand back as if warding someone off, or if someone comes at you and you, and you want to push them away or grab someone off of you, it will activate the switch and send an electric shock into them. So right here the switch runs down, and then here you have the on switch for the system. I changed the LED from red to blue to match the color scheme. So you hear that buzzing noise? That means that it's activated. So if I touch something... On the front here, these are just for show, but in the future I'd like to make it so that electricity arcs across and I can throw electric punches. I think that'd be pretty cool. Right here, you have your charging little prongs. You can plug it into your wall, and then it goes back in. It's pretty nice. Then I just have some Velcro holding the wires and a buckle and strap to keep it on my forearm. So now I'll just do a really quick test. And you can see it's in the other way. So I think it's a pretty effective gadget for defense. And obviously it's very intimidating if someone comes at you and you just show them you have you're kind of armed. I don't really consider this a weapon because it's not lethal. It's more just for defense and it works best by warding people off. Um, hopefully in the future I can get this going. I think that would be pretty cool to add to it. But this is just one version of many. So I'll add lots of integrations and upgrades in the future. But let me know what you guys think. Also, if you're into electric based gadgets, check out the YouTube channel The Hacksmith. He has a pretty cool set of electrified Wolverine claws. And he does other pretty cool how-to projects and gadgets. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel, and I'll leave a link in the description. So again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Suggest any upgrades I should add in the future. And thanks for watching.